guys, welcome to the channel again. Um, Elaine is going to be looking at the camera. Okay. Not at the monitor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I got it. Okay, so welcome back to the channel. Um, was it last week that I did the episode on why we choose the one we love? And um, for me, I've been getting the question a lot about how I ended up with a European or a Caucasian woman. So I did a video about why I choose the person I love and the fact that the person I chose or my reason for choosing this person was because it was a person that made me feel a certain type of way, not because she looked a certain type of way or was from a different country. So that was why I chose the person. And the story is one that... Are we going to tell the story? Mm-hmm. We're going to tell the story. Yeah, the story is one that, yeah, we're going to tell at some point in this video. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so this is uh, I'm sitting too close. Am I not? Uh, I think it looks good. No, I hear, you know, so that it's. I do. Okay. Um. I'm gonna shift the little. Yeah, this is better. No? For me, this was a bit messy. Like, I think this is start with. Hi, I'm Kwame, and two weeks ago I recorded this. What's two weeks? Yeah. What's two weeks? Yeah. Okay. And, yeah, okay. And then what? You should welcome me. I'm just like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like rambling. Are you nervous? I'm not nervous. Okay. okay. Hi, my name is Kwame. Hey, let's do cuts. Right. Hi, my name is Kwame, I'm a documentary filmmaker and a voiceover artist and of course a YouTuber based in Accra. And last two weeks I did a video about why we choose the one we love. And of course I mentioned my wife in there, who is Elaine, yes. So I told my part of the story and the question that I do get a lot. You know how many times you press the sound button? Okay, cut. Alright, so let me start. So hi, my name is Kwame. I'm a documentary filmmaker and the YouTuber and a voiceover artist based in Accra, Ghana. And if this is your first time tuning into the channel, it usually doesn't happen like this. But last two weeks, I did a video about why we choose the one we love because I often get the question about how I ended up with a European or a Caucasian woman. And I, I found it always weird because I didn't choose this person because of where she was from or the color of her skin. I just happened to, you know, um, like this person after engaging the person, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, talking, being friends. It was nice. And I ended up falling in love without even realizing. And the person makes me feel a certain type of way. So it wasn't even about where the person was from. But I don't know if this is the same for my wife, Elaine. That's why I brought her here today to also tell me her part of, or tell you guys her part of the experience of, you know, being with, a person from a different continent or race or whatever. I don't like that word. Race? Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit heavy. Yeah. But, yeah. So, yeah. Here's my wife, Elaine, and uh, she's going to tell her part of the story. I thought you were asking me a question, but it's okay. Yeah. But, but it's, it's the same maybe, question. It's the same question. Do you, do you so get... So, maybe... Okay. Do you get that question asked? I just wanted to tell something about myself. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I feel I'm ruining that cut. No, it's fine. Go on. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous. Okay, so I I I think it would be nice if you asked me why I wanted to come in. Okay. So why did you want to come in for this episode? Okay. You, you, you want to answer after ask, or you want me to ask yeah. it again? Yeah, so you edit okay. it. Okay, okay. I'm not going to edit it. No, because this part was messy. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> We're going to leave it all in. No, I look silly. <laughs> no, we don't. Okay, so you ask me the question. So why? Well, I mean, I think it connects to what you said that you, when I met you, I didn't see you as... I saw you as Kwame, not a black Ghanaian 30 year old. I wasn't 30. 30 year old. <laughs> I wasn't 30 when we met. So, 
what you see first is your appearance, but that's not... I don't fall in love with your... Appearance. Appearance. I fall in love with the person. You sure about that, though? Yeah. Okay, you look good, but... Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and yeah, how you answer that question, why? Because I happened to meet this person and I think it was really a good match. And I, we started off with a lot of conversations and we really clicked. Like we could sit at the workplace. We were also working. <laughs> But we're also talking a lot. We're not working. And yeah, I think that made us connect. Like yeah. first with how we approach life and our thoughts. And we exchange a lot of things very easily. And I even remember uh, talking to my best friend on Skype. You know who you were? Uh, that I was actually excited to tell her that I met you. So yeah. like I was just excited to... Like I was like, I met this. It's a colleague. He's like really cool. And oh, I'm really cool. She said I'm really cool. <laughs> Are you trying to be really cool? I don't know which one it was. I am cool. But I am cool. Yeah, I, I remember that excitement. Um, like I met this person, he exists. And it wasn't immediately like a love thing. So I didn't have the love at first sight. I don't think you had it either. I had some likeness at first sight, but not like, oh my God, I'm in love with her. No. Yeah. Yeah, but I... I, well, I never, definitely didn't have that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but I, I was just happy to have met him. And I think that's a genuine... Yeah. A genuine feeling. Like, I'm happy this person exists. I'm happy... Can, that we can connect we and we can talk. Yeah. 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 So it starts with that. That's then, how it started. And then over time... Over time it developed, but... At the time, we were colleagues. It was a workplace setting. So you also have limited space to kind of explore uh, who this person is. Because, I mean, you're working. Yeah. Um, and I, at that time, I was going to Netherlands, back to Netherlands very soon. I wasn't even sure. If you're going to come back. That I would come back. Yeah. Uh, so by faith or chance or however you want to call it, surrender pity. Yeah. Serendipity. 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 Uh, I was supposed to do another research, but I was supposed to go to Burundi, but then it was unsafe there. And then the same organization was in Ghana. You should have seen how I reacted. <laughs> yes! So I decided to pursue it in Ghana as I thought, why not? Yeah. And then we were both like ready to try it on without any expectations. So we just said, we just want to properly date, get to know each other. Um, and then we take it from there. So we went to the movies. I think it was a really bad movie with Zac Efron. <laughs> Are we going to get better than this? Yeah. And like oh, the punchline was he was wanted to become a uh, DJ and he kept shouting, Are we ever going to be better than this? Oh, so no. that was kind of our... How you say punchline? Yep. We shouted sometimes at each other, and it w it was nice. I mean, it, I was. It very was a terrible nervous. movie, but it was it was a nice date. I was very nervous though. Yeah, was I? Was I nervous? Mm. Maybe I mask it well. Yeah. Maybe I mask it well. And like we were just exploring in the beginning, like get to know each other better. Like we were really taking our time. You wanted to rush into things. I remember that. <laughs> um, no I think a little bit I, didn't, I didn't want to rush into things I was very sure Yeah, okay, you were very sure yes. While I was still um, trying to match my head with my heart Because I, I know that I liked him Which was close to Like, liked him a lot But I also didn't just want to jump on it without being really sure like this is what I want to do so even if it would become long distance I would want to be able to say fully yes like with you're committing to it committing to it instead of just saying yes and then once there's one challenge I'm like ah you know what this is not for me I didn't want like I wanted to be fully present and mm, yeah. so I think we did like three months or something. yeah we did three months we well, actually less because you're here in October well, people yeah. don't care about the timeline. Yeah, but Let's, October and then, and then December, we decided yeah. to try it officially. To try it. And then luckily I got an internship 
um, for half a year and I decided to do it. So then we had a little bit more time, time to yeah. really, you know, hang out, do activities, and get to enjoy, know each other. get to know each other even better. Yeah. Um, so that was the beginning. And then we did a lot of long distance, which is a whole other story, but I yeah. think we'll go we'll, into we'll, that. We'll go into that. Time. Time. Yeah. But I did ask you guys to send some of your questions as what you want to know. I don't know how deep we can go with um, the questions, but I, I'm going well, on YouTube mm -hmm. to see maybe we can answer one because the video is already really long. But, okay. What do you want us to do? I want to still add something. Okay, go on. So with the question why we choose the one you love, I feel Kwame wasn't super specific. But I think for us, what we have in common is that we really like to learn. So if we don't understand anything or we don't understand something or uh, a challenge is brought up, we're, we're both trying to find a way around it and make it work for us. And I think that's also kind of been our approach in our relationship. So what's happening? What can we do? How can we manage? Like, find a way to move through it together. But you, you have been the lead on that all the time. Most of the time. Actually, I, I all the time. I think so. Because, because you're also very creative and innovative. So, yeah, in a I, way, I, that fuels it too. I go, I, I, I'm, I think I'm more collaborative when it comes up. Like, I'm open-minded to, let's talk about it, let's learn, let's figure it out. Mm -hmm. But I think most of the initiative in terms of communication, because I mentioned communication a lot in... in um, the last vlog. Yeah. yeah. And how I thought I was a good communicator, but when I met you, I realized that there's more to it mm -hmm. than, you know, what I thought I knew. And so I have learned a lot in the last five years in our communication, because the communication is what leads to the learning. Because when it comes up, Mm. We're both open and like willing to learn and throw in options or yeah. like ideas to find solutions and then we learn from it and then we keep, you know, yeah. moving from there. Yeah. I, I don't know whether I think it's just a general approach we have, like we bounce off ideas, even yeah. though it's business or it's personal. And what comes with that, what you already mentioned, is the open mindedness. Yeah. Because that's the one thing that is difficult, I'm not gonna deny. Like we're both from different backgrounds. So I have a Dutch background, Kwame has a Ghanaian background, but also that on itself has so many parts yeah. that differ from each other. We have different families, different way of bringing up, different kind of schools. Yeah. Like it's a whole other world you have to explore. And in order to do that well, you really need to be open-minded. And that's one thing I really appreciated in like both of us, that we're willing to be open-minded and be curious and ask a lot of questions. And I think I still, well, I live in Ghana or we live in Ghana now. So for me, it's also, I don't understand everything. All the time. <laughs> that's going on. That's fine. And I try to learn and be curious. And even now, uh, I've been living here for quite a while. I still am able to ask my questions to Kwame. And even if it gets personal, I can still ask. And that open-mindedness of me being vulnerable enough to ask and him being able to come to my level and kind of explain, break it down, I think that's a really important part of our relationship. And the other way around, when you were in Netherlands, yeah. I could hopefully do the same for you uh, after your culture shock, but we'll go into that another time. Culture shock. Well, did I? Yeah, I did. I did have a massive culture shock. But that's another topic for another time. Yeah. Um, so that open-mindedness and the willingness to learn, and I think that really... Is the driving force. Uh, yeah. In kind of making it work, because there's a lot to bridge, and there's a lot of stretching going on all day, because you want to understand each other and move from that place of understanding before you continue. So we had a lot of... Yeah, exploring to do. Yeah. And but I have to say, I have to say that it, it, it hasn't been easy with the exploring because no. um, I, I tend to be, or I tend to get rather logical and defensive because when something comes up and I, I can explain my part or explain my decision or why I did 
or I can rationalize my decision, then I think that, yeah, it's right or I'm right. So that's it. So, yeah, yeah. I've, I've had to evolve over time in, in seeing a broader perspective and actually tolerating, like, you know, the, the point of view of the other person and also seeing that the point of view of the other person may not always be logical. Yeah. But then you need to see that, oh, there's an emotional side to it and, you know, it ties into a lot of things that you want to bridge, like you're saying, yeah. and understand. Yeah. But I think because of your perspective, like you're also um, not forcing, but you're forcing me in a way to also distinguish between the rational and the emotional argument. Yeah. So sometimes when we even talk about it logically, you would still have feeling, or I would still have feelings attached to it. Yeah. So then we try to also bridge how can we make space for those feelings without like brushing them aside. Yeah. And that took a lot of conversation and confrontation and misunderstandings and time a lot of time as well yeah yeah so i guess ultimately um it's still a work in progress because i don't i wouldn't say it's perfect now because there's still i mean there's still times when there's some misunderstanding and some level of confrontation yeah so i guess um the whole journey would be to build whatever this is to the point where it becomes second nature you know exactly what to do, when to do. Well, I, I disagree with that because I feel that a relationship, no matter what, you have to, one, show up. So stay curious, ask your question, try to understand the other person. And you, you don't think it has to become second nature? No, I don't think it will ever get easy. Not but, easy, like, but... Like, you need to put in the work. I don't think it will ever get easy, to... but I'm just saying that you would know what to do when it happens. Yeah, but not all the time. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're also really good at this, like having discussions. Yeah. Like teasing, not teasing, but kind of challenge the other person to. Tugging, tugging. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, showing up and doing the work is really important because it's never finished. Like in life, there's no, like, oh, I made it, I'm done. Like the same That's not what I meant. Okay. Hey. Hey. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I understand. <laughs> because if, I, if we do this here right now, that's another like, you know, trying to break it down here right now. Yeah. So yeah, um, there's a lot of tugging and it will constantly evolve. You face bigger challenges like Elaine is saying. So it never gets easy. It never becomes second nature. Even though I, I disagree that, well, you become, you get better at knowing how to deal with things, for example. You get better. Yeah. Yeah. Like for now, for example, like now I know like to distinguish logical or rational from emotional and when to do which one. Mm -hmm. No matter how big or confusing the other thing is. It's the willingness to learn. Yeah. But it's also like in small things because remember when, okay, we were driving to this coconut place and we, coconut, yeah, you can buy bottles of coconut yeah. water and we were sitting in the car and i was on the side of the coconut seller so he and we wanted three so i was taught three this is three and this is three in ghana apparently this is three i can't even do it look at my fingers <laughs> so i was doing three and he brought me two two and i was so confused and the car was like no this is three and i'm like who comes up with this? <laughs> so, and we just had a good laugh. Or first I was just confused and then later we laughed it off. But these small things from three to three, because he would have brought me two, because he only looks yeah, at this. Yeah, you did this, yeah. You yeah. only see this, you're not count your thumb. So these, yeah, this is an example of the small things, yeah. but they also, is how we solve a bit of the big things. Like, okay, wow, is this... I didn't know. So, I didn't know. Yeah. What, what's this? And I want to understand. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, you know, this is how many... Oh! But you can add it. What? I think you should add it a bit. No. No, I don't want the whole thing. I want the whole thing. No. <laughs> I want the whole thing in there. Stop recording then. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um i think we're gonna have or we're gonna streamline our conversations and pick up the topics 
we didn't even get to answer any of your questions. But I think one thing run through, which was communication when I was looking through the comments, but the specific questions that I got under the previous video, we're going to make a, a follow-up video on that one because we're already um, clocking 21 minutes and yeah. No, I think you should stop now and we should make it a bit more. We put in a question, you edit it a bit. No, we're gonna put, 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 I'm not going to put the question inside now. Because the question, the question also, like, it's related to the... <laughs> Can you stop recording, please? <laughs> okay, so stay tuned for the next episode. That's all I'm going to say, because I'm not going to stop recording and re-record another one and put the question inside. So we're going to record another episode which has the questions in there. We're going to pick them one by one. So maybe in a few days or next week, we'll come back with that one. So it's peace from Kwame and Elaine. Yes, finally, she's showed up on the vlog. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Yeah, and subscribe. Hit the bell button and select all so that you get notified when I post a new video or when we show up again. So yeah, my name is Kwame and... This is Elaine. Yeah, we'll catch you again another time. Peace. Peace. Whew.